Hey there! So we are not in the garden today. We are actually up here in a bedroom setting up a new seed starting system and I wanted to just take you along and give you a look at that process. My name is Anna. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Of course, if you have been around, thank you so much for watching these videos. So yeah, today we're going to talk about seed starting. This is actually a big upgrade in seed starting setups for me because I have just really taken like the easiest, low cost, just simple. I started with starting seeds in a window um, kind of route for seed starting. I have a very small garden, so I just have a small townhouse garden and I don't start that many seeds, but I do start a lot of the plants for that garden. So I've never needed like a huge setup um, and also space is a premium. So I don't know about you, but space is a premium both outside and in my house. And this little setup is completely foldable. Like all of this I can fold up and put away when I'm not seed starting. So I was kind of excited when I figured out a solution for that too, because I've always taken down all of my seed starting things um, as soon as I'm done with seed starting and just pack them away. Of course, I kind of start seeds like all the time. So then I'm pulling it in and out. So it just needs to be an easy setup for me, something that I can put away for like a couple weeks, pull out for a couple weeks, and it's not a big deal. I am not sponsored. I want to say too, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with any of the products that I'm showing you. I'm just showing you what, what I've purchased with my own money to try to figure out my, my seed starting. I'm going to crop you up down here so we can just chat for a second. So yeah, I have kind of done all of the sort of low cost seed starting. So I started with doing seeds in a window and then I got some just little like basically house plant um, lights and I started seeds under those and they, they did pretty well. And then now I have the shelf. So I'm gonna do sh two shelves with flower seeds and then two shelves with vegetables. And I also grabbed these little, like these are just, I have to set up this other one so I can show you how I set this up. It's just like a little one bar, um light and the shelf what i liked about it was it fits a kind of just normal flat size tray i will be putting in my um cups so i grabbed a couple of these trays just to have on hand as um bases for all of my little uh seed cups so i'll put in um just little paper cups that i like to start my seeds in and that fit tray fits perfectly under the light and on the bamboo tray. Oh, baby girl's playing over here. Let me grab her. People are always asking me how I do like all this gardening with a baby and a toddler and stuff. And <laughs> the truth is it's always kind of chaos, but we figure it out. So yeah. So anyways, um, just got this all set up and it did come with a cover. It has like a greenhouse cover. I'm going to put in a couple um, clips here of me setting it up on a time lapse really quick so you can see. I don't think I'm going to use the cover right now. I thought it would be nice to have in case like my toddler was starting to mess with the seedlings or if I was having major humidity issues, but I tend to be like a seedling micromanager. So I know I'm going to be in here like checking and missing everything all the time and I'm not going to worry about it. I did also think I might put my potting mat. It's this awesome little mat that goes underneath, um, like you can use it underneath pots while you're repotting things so you don't spill. I was thinking I might actually stick my repotting mat underneath this whole setup if I find that I'm spilling like a lot of, uh, you know, dirt or things are, are spilling, you know, water spilling out when I'm watering the seeds or something like that. But I'm going to try to start without it and just kind of, kind of see how it goes. So let me grab, I'm going to run over and grab my tray. I just seeded a bunch of coleus and petunias. So they're going to go in here. They haven't really started sprouting yet. And I have a couple other trays of flowers too, that I'm going to just grab and stick all this on here. And then we'll kind of take a take a look at at how it looks i'm pretty excited about this this has literally been my seed starting setup for like the last couple years yes this is a bathtub and yep it's just right on the side of a bathtub and i have these like little i don't know i think they're for houseplants they work really well uh for houseplants like this is the lemon tree it's been blooming. I've been trying to pollinate it, but it's not really working. I don't think I'm going to get any lemons. But anyways, yeah, so this is literally the setup how it's been. And you know what? It's actually worked okay. 
some of my seedlings sometimes get a little bit leggy. Honestly, that setup has worked pretty well. If you just want to do like a little one or two trays of seeds on that kind of a shelf, it, it really works. Occasionally, some of the seedlings will get a tiny bit leggy, but nothing that I found that's actually compromised the health of the seedling or hasn't been anything that I could just, you know, plant the seedling a little deeper and and do okay with. So that is definitely a seed starting option. As I said, um, I started a lot of stuff for my garden over the last couple of years with that setup and it's been, it's been okay. And basically the only reason I'm changing things up is just that I'm sick of having my bathroom full of seedlings and I wanted to do something different. So we've got the little seed tray here. Um, but I'm gonna grab, grab all those seeds and, and put them up on the shelves now because I'm just, I'm so excited to get them started. Okay, here is what we settled on, I settled on. Um, so I'm gonna do one tray up here with the cups, kind of like this um, seed tray here. Nothing has sprouted yet. These are the ones I just seeded. I actually need to come in and do a little bit of watering. But I put them under one of these lights. Maybe eventually I will um, it get some more of the actual like grow grow lights, but I just wanted to test how those how these did and kind of see. And these are nice because you can move them around and cover a little bit more area. And then I actually had two of these trays that um, they hold like a few more seedlings, um, like the plug trays. I could put fit two of them and just down here because they go over the edge a little bit, but I thought that would work. And there's the seed set up. Nothing fancy, certainly not as beautiful and Pinteresty as many of the things you will see. As I said, I've never really shared my seed starting, but I do think that, yeah, if you just want a seed setup that you can pick up, take up, take down, that kind of thing. I, I was excited to get this kind of figured out and I was able to use some of my old lights on it. And so that was nice. It did come, as I said, with a cover. So I was thinking in the spring, I could even pop the whole thing outside and put the cover over it and use it to um, actually harden off seedlings, which would be pretty cool. And then I wouldn't have to use the unheated greenhouse to harden off those seedlings. Basically it would be just be a second unheated greenhouse. Um, all the seedlings that I'm starting in the un my big unheated greenhouse, I could keep all those growing if I wanted to, or who knows? I mean, seed starting, it's like, like, I don't know how I'm gonna stay on just these four shelves, to be honest. It's one of those things where you get going and I feel like you just, it multiplies quickly. So I'm gonna set up this grow light, see how long baby girl will stay happy. I know I have seen these at like some of the, the bulk stores. And if you're on a budget, these are about, I think they were $45. I think there was a sale on, on the Fairy Morris website. So I think I got them for cheaper, but yeah, uh, that's pretty good price. Grow lights are expensive. This is the thing. You start looking into seed starting and it gets expensive quickly when you start thinking about the soil, the different equipment, uh, the setup. Now this whole thing is like 150 bucks to get going with the two grow lights and the shelves. Um, and in my area, an annual seedling costs around six to $10, depending on the seedling. So over the years, I think it ends up, you know, you end up saving money over the years. Once you get through some of the initial costs, I won't have to buy, you know, another shelf, hopefully. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's daunting when you get started. And I was, I was a bit blown away when I first got going with it. And the other thing is, is space too. It just thinking about getting all these seedlings going, you're going to have all of these seedlings in your house. And you do, if you've never started seedlings before, you do really need to think about that. And if you're like me, you're gonna end up starting more than you anticipated, possibly more than you need, if there is such a thing as too many plants. And so you just gotta prepare for that as far as the space. Okay, this is all packaged very well. So space is 
is so essential. It's just as essential inside as it is outside. And I would encourage you, if you're a small space gardener, you have a small space to start seedlings, just really do what is manageable for you and keeps it fun. If having tons of seedlings on every surface in your house makes you happy, I say go for it and like enjoy your spring and live your life. But if that's gonna, you know, be too much, um, then definitely find some solutions. Maybe a shelf or something like this would help. Um, but if you don't, if you can't figure out a shelf, even if you can't figure out grow lights, pick a sunny window, go for it. Or if you have a not so great grow light, like with some of, some of those, I've actually stuck them next to a bright window. So it kind of helped to, um, just add a little bit of extra light and that has worked really well too. So that's, you know, there's always kind of options. I do get asked a lot about heat mats and, as I said, I'm just not a fancy seed starter. I do not have any heat mats. The only thing that happens with not having heat mats is that my plants probably sprout a little bit slower. So I grow um, peppers and everything, you know, things that really like heat, and maybe they sprout slightly slower than they would if they had heat mats. But this is up in an upstairs bedroom, so it's pretty warm. Um, and we've actually got a south facing window right there. So it's pretty warm and cozy for these guys, and I've never had an issue with germination. Heat mats are, you know, you take them off once the plant germinates anyway. So it's really just for that like germination phase. I say give it a try. If you find like nothing's germinating or it's taking forever, then maybe, you know, your house is cold enough that you need heat mats. But honestly, I don't do any, I don't do any heat mats. And it's, it's always been okay. I've usually been starting my seeds in a, a bathroom. So that, that is like, if you're just like, what room should I do this in? I'm just gonna do like one tray of seeds. You don't mind taking over your bathroom. It's nice, usually warm in there. There's a lot of good humidity. So that's where mine have been. But now they got an upgrade. I am going to be keeping an eye on watering them. Because I have changed location, it's going to have to change how I garden. And that is, you know, the thing too, if you get a whole new setup to make sure you're really keeping an eye on things because it's going to be different. I guarantee it's going to be different for me now with them not being in the bathroom and being out here in the living room. I bet it's going to be a bit drier. I'm going to have to water them a bit more and just stay on top of it a bit more. So um, that's something I'm going to be thinking about and doing. But yeah, a little peek at the seed starting setup. I'll keep you posted as all these seeds start coming up. Hopefully we have some things sprouting pretty soon here. I actually have to get in and make sure I missed everything because some of these seed trays are getting a little bit dry. But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.